The terror attacks in Israel on 7th October were shocking and deserve condemnation. Terrorism is a malignancy and knows no borders, nationality or race. Let us keep aside differences, unite and adopt a zero-tolerance approach to terrorism. In a world where differences and disputes should be resolved by dialogue, this august body should be deeply concerned at recourse to violence. That too, when it happens on a scale and intensity that is an affront to basic human values. Violence as a means to achieve political objective, objectives damages indiscriminately and does not pave the way for any durable solutions. The terror attacks in Israel on 7th October were shocking and deserve condemnation. Our thoughts are also with those taken hostages. We call for their immediate and unconditional release. Terrorism is a malignancy and knows no borders, nationality or race. The world should not buy into any justification of terror acts. Let us keep aside differences, unite and adopt a zero tolerance approach to terrorism. Mr. President, casualties in the ongoing conflict in Gaza are a telling, serious and continuing concern. Civilians, especially women and children, are paying with their lives. This humanitarian crisis needs to be addressed. We welcome the international community's de-escalation efforts and delivery of humanitarian assistance to the people of Gaza. India, too, has contributed to this effort. Mr. President, India is deeply concerned at the deteriorating security situation and astounding loss of civilian lives in the ongoing conflict. The escalation of hostilities in the region will only exacerbate the humanitarian crisis. It is necessary for all parties to display the utmost responsibility. Mr. President, India has always supported a negotiated two-state solution to the Israel-Palestine issue, leading to the establishment of a sovereign, independent, and viable state of Palestine living within secure and recognized borders side by side in peace with Israel. For this, we urge the parties to de-escalate, eschew violence, and work towards creating conditions for an early resumption of direct peace negotiations. We hope that the deliberations of this assembly will send a clear message against terror and violence and expand prospects for diplomacy and dialogue while addressing the humanitarian crisis that confronts us.